with a new chapter and it may take a lot of time to complete. It may take time to complete the things actually. So today's class we will be starting with we will be starting with the the chapter and chapter five that is good evening Jason sir. Good evening to everyone. I guess everybody is able to see me and hear me as well. Yes, 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 yes of course. So let us start with the chapter. So the chapter which we are going to do today is basically the sensory physiology. Let me share the screen. Pritam sir, please make me host so that I can share the screen. Thank yes, you. now you yes. can say. Thank you, thank you. So, the chapter which we are going to do today is uh, sensory physiology. So, now the question that arises here is what is sensory physiology? And what we are going to study in this chapter, what are the things that to be taken care of? And everything we will be studying today. So let us start with the chapter. Let us start with the chapter that is sensory physiology. Now, what happens is that this sensory physiology is a kind of it is a basically a study of the various biological processes underlying under sensation. Sensation means that can be taste, that can be touch, that can be uh, smell, that can be hearing. So these are the various sensations that happens and the various biological process that happens during this sensation that we will study in this chapter that is sensory physiology. Sensory physiology ke andar hum padhenge jo various sessions hai. Sensations hai, sorry sessions ke rin. Sensations hai, jese sound, light, odor, taste, pain, touch, in sab ke baare mein. What are the biological processes jo in ke saath? What happens in sensory uh, physiology? Iske andar, basically, the neurons are there uh, which are different for every of the sensation. There are three things which we are going to use again and again. Those three terms are, the first one is the receptor. Receptor is nothing, but it is a structure which converts the mechanical signal into Electric signal. Is with three terms hai, jo hum randomly use karenge. So I would like to explain these terms before I start the chapter. And those three terms are one. And first one is the receptor. Now what the question arises is what is receptor? Receptor is structure hota hai, jisse hum mechanical signal convert karte hai into electrical signal. The second one is effectors and the third one is effectors now the both are different effectors it's a double f e c t o r and effector it is e double f e c t o r so both are different effectors are basically the signals are sending signals bhejna jo receptors karte hain and effectors is jo signal aaye hain unka reply ya unka reaction dena to react to those effectors is effectors so there are three terms receptor effector and affector which we are going to use again and again in this chapter so sensory physiology as i told sensory that is the sensory nerves when we are compromising with the, the various sensations so let us start with uh, start with sensory receptors. Now, as I told, sensory physiology hota kya hai. Now, the sensory receptors. Sensory receptor, they basically receives the information from the outside body and then reaches to the thing where the sensation, where they are underlying. Like, agar touch hoga, so then they will be affecting the skin. If light hogi, they will be affecting the eyes. If something to hear, they will be affecting the ears. And if something to taste, to smell, nose, to taste, 
So to taste, we have the tongue. So these are the things. Every of these sense organs, like your nose, eyes, ears, tongue, skin, they consist of certain receptors. Inke apne apne receptors hoti hain. They have their own receptors. So, if I talk about the sensory receptors, agar main sensory receptors ki baat karu, then sensory receptors are of two types. There are two types of sensory receptor. The first one is external receptor and the second one is internal receptor. Sensory receptors do tarah ke hote hain. The first one is external receptor or jo dusre wala hai, that is internal receptor. Now, this external receptors are the receptors jo respond karenge, the one that will respond to the stimuli from outside the body. Body ke bahar se koi stimuli aara hai. Now, what is stimuli? Stimuli is basically the change that is coming. So, external receptors, wo receptors hote hain, jo respond karenge kab, when the stimulus is coming from the outside the body. Jo body ke bahar se receptor aara hai, stimuli aara hai. Stimuli, I again repeat, is nothing but the change that is going to come. So, those are called extero receptors. Now, we are going to discuss the various extero receptors now. Furthermore, we will be discussing the internal receptors. Let me differentiate the external uh, receptors and internal receptors here only. So, that will become easy. External receptors, I just told that they respond to the stimuli from outside the body. Whereas the internal receptors are those receptors, wo receptors honge, which will respond to stimuli from inside the body. Jo body ke andar se, jo changes aa rahi hai, they will, they will uh, respond to those. So those were, that will be the internal receptors. I hope this is clear till here to everyone. Yes. Please write yes or no, guys, so I can move forward with extero, external receptors. Please repeat, ma'am. Okay. See, sensory physiology ke baare mein we come to know what is sensory physiology. Receptors kya hote hain? They are basically the structures by which the uh, mechanical signals are converted into electrical signals. जो हमारे mechanical signals होते हैं, वो convert हो जाते हैं electrical signals में. अब, जो ये receptors होते हैं, हमारे sensory physiology में दो तरह के होते हैं. एक होता है external receptor, एक होता है internal receptor. The external receptors, वो receptors होते हैं, that respond, जो respond कब करते हैं, जब कोई भी change body के बाहर से अंदर आ रहा है. Whereas, जो हमारे इंटरनल रिसेप्टर्स होते हैं वो वो रिसेप्टर्स होते हैं व्हिच रिस्पोंड जो रिस्पोंड करते हैं जो भी स्टिमुली हमारा इनसाइड द बॉडी से आ रहा है बॉडी के अंदर से ही आ रहा है नाउ आई गेस एवरीबॉडी अंडरस्टूड यस प्लीज राइट यस नो गाइस सो आई कैन मूव फॉरवर्ड यस यस मैम ओके सो लेट अस स्टडी अबाउट द एक्सटर्नल रिसेप्टर अब हम बात करेंगे पहले एक्सटर्नल रिसेप्टर के बारे में फर्दर मोर वी विल बी टॉकिंग अबाउट द इंटरनल रिसेप्टर सो लेट स्टार्ट विद द एक्सटर्नल रिसेप्टर इफ आई टॉक अबाउट एक्सटर्नल रिसेप्टर दे इंक्लूड्स द ऑल फैक्ट्री रिसेप्टर्स व्हिच आर कॉम्प्रोमाइजिंग विद स्मेल द फोटो रिसेप्टर्स व्हिच आर अंडरलाइंग विद द विजन देखने के लिए द फोनो रिसेप्टर्स अबाउट हियरिंग and the thermoreceptors, that is the temperature, sensation towards the temperature, sensation, phonoreceptor, sensation towards the hearing, photoreceptor, sensation towards the vision, dekhne ke. And olfactory receptors is the sensation towards smell. So first, we will be studying about the first external receptor, that is olfactory receptor which is related to smell. Now, 
देर आर सेंसरी न्यूरोन जो स्मेल से विच आर इन्वॉल्व इन स्मेल दो आर ऑलफेक्ट्री सेंसरी न्यूरोन्स नाउ दीज न्यूरोन्स जो ये न्यूरोन्स होते हैं इनके पास अपने रिसेप्टर्स होते हैं दे कंसिस्ट ऑफ देर ओन रिसेप्टर्स एंड दो रिसेप्टर्स आर नोन एज ऑलफेक्ट्री रिसेप्टर्स और उन्हीं को क्या बोलते हैं हम ऑलफेक्ट्री रिसेप्टर्स here i will show you one video and make it clear the olfactory system is responsible for the sense of smell or olfaction they are associated with the sensation of smell basically airborne molecules emitted by an odorant source are detected by olfactory sensory nerve these blue blue are the molecules that are coming from outside the body so outside the body hai which means it is an external receptor neurons located at the roof of the nasal cavity this is the these nasal cavity neurons convert chemical stimuli into electrical signals and send them via the olfactory nerve to the olfactory bulb then to the brain where they are interpreted as odors odorant molecules are first dissolved in the mucus secreted by the olfactory epithelium which guides them to the cilia of now what happens as soon as the molecules that are en that enters from the outside environment they reaches to the nasal cavity जैसे ही दे विल रीच टू द नेजल केविटी दे आर थ्रू म्यूकस देर इज देर आर द्यूरोन्स दीज आर दैक्ट्री न्यूरोन्स एंड दीज आर दीलियाल्ट्री न्यूरोन्स टू विच दीज मोलिक्यूल्स गेट अटैच फैक्ट्री न्यूरोन्स दिस इज वेर ओडर मॉलिक्यूल्स बाइंड टू देर रिसेप्टर ईच न्यूरोन एक्सप्रेस इज अगल टाइप ऑफ प्रोटीन रिसेप्टर There are only about 400 different receptors in humans but they are used in a combinatorial way such that one odorant can bind several receptors and one receptor can bind several odorants this enables the olfactory system to recognize an enormous number of odorants now there is a reason that why we are able to recognize the different different odors odors in the sense of smell that is the different different types of smell which we uh, smell it होता क्या है देर आर प्लेंटी ऑफ न्यूरो आर प्रेजेंट हियर हर न्यूरोन जो कॉम्बिनेशन होता है इफ आई एम स्मेलिंग अ कॉफी राइट तो जो कॉफी के मोलिक्यूल्स है दे विल गेट अटैच टू दीज न्यूरो सीरिया ऑफ द न्यूरो नाउ एक न्यूरो नहीं होगा विच कंसिस्टिंग ऑफ सिंगल रिसेप्टर जिससे कॉफी के मोलिक्यूल्स अटैच या फिर जो स्मेल कॉफी की आ रही है विच इज गेटिंग टू बी अटैच दे प्लेंटी ऑफ न्यूरो so this is the reason there are 400 neurons with different different uh, uh, combinations we are able to have the different types of smells alag alag smell receptors are hame aati hai upon binding to the odorant a signaling cascade is activated leading to membrane depolarization when the olfactory stimulus is strong enough action potentials are generated and conducted along Again, the same thing is coming. That is action potential, जो हमने कब किया था in the last chapter. What was action? Action potential is the respond. जब neuron से जब pass होता था signal. The axon to the olfactory bulb. The axons of all olfactory sensory neurons form the olfactory nerve, also known as cranial nerve one. In the olfactory bulb, these axons synapse with second order neurons. the mitral and tufted cells within structures called glom synapse is a place where the first neuron is combining to the second neuron the space between the two neuron glomeruli each glomerulus receives axons from sensory neurons that express the same protein receptor the second order neurons are stimulated by sensory neurons but they also receive inhibitory feedback from the cerebral cortex This means an odor can be perceived differently under different circumstances. For example, the smell of food is more appealing when one is hungry and is less so when one is full. 
The axons of mitral and tufted cells form the olfactory tracts, which project directly to the primary olfactory cortex. The primary olfactory cortex is not one, but several cortical areas located on the base of the frontal lobe and inferior surface of the temporal lobe. These primary regions then project further to some other areas of the brain. These, these are uh, the, the, the uh, these are the places in the brain where they get attached to. Different aspects of odor recognition and response. Because olfactory neurons are exposed directly to the noxious external environment, they are replaced more often than other neurons. Stem cells in the epithelium differentiate into new olfactory neurons, whose axons grow along the existing axons to the olfactory bulb. Any factors that destroy all olfactory neurons at once would result in a permanent loss of sense of smell, a condition known as anosmia. Illnesses that cause inflammation of the nasal mucosa may lead to transient anosmia. Loss of smell also affects the taste experience. They are explaining the various factors that may destroy the neurons which are responsible for the smell. The neurons are responsible for the smell. Ke liye, there are plenty of uh, factors which are destroy ho jati hai, like trauma in head or meditation, antibiotics, or uh, permanent uh, sinus ho gaya, ya viral infection. Hai, whatsoever. As taste and smell are the two aspects of flavor. The ability to smell decreases with normal aging, but anosmia is also an early sign of several neurodegenerative disorders. Because epileptic seizures often originate from the brain area associated with the olfactory cortex, seizures are often preceded by hallucinations of disagreeable odors. I hope everybody uh, had a vision of this. So this was, uh, the we were discussing about the receptor. Uh, that is related to the smell. So we discussed about cell. Anyone have any issue regarding the external receptor, which is related to smell, the olfactory receptor? So otherwise, I will be moving to the next receptor. Please write yes or no so I can move forward. Please, guys, yes or no. It's fine. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Fair enough. So let us move on to taste now. Now, similarly, as uh, the olfactory uh, receptor, Jesse Hamara olfactory receptor tha, we have for the taste. So the taste receptor is basically known as gustatory receptor. Usko hum gustatory receptor bhi bol dete hain. In this, what happens that the various chemicals or the things that get added up, jo bhi hum mein lete hain, uh, which we eat, we have the various taste bud in our tongue and the, their places for the different taste, like for bitter, for uh, salty, for sour, and so on. So those produce what happens when they get, the molecules get attached to uh, the taste bud, they produce an action potential. Furthermore, reaching to the, uh, reaching it to the brain and then letting us know that what type of uh, taste does the food have. The next one is the vision. As I told, which say receptors which are related to the vision, what we see, right? I am watching something, which means I am able to see that, right? How it is basic what photoreceptor cells are basically the cells which helps in converting the light into electrical signals. Ye wo cells hote hai, photoreceptors, wo receptors hote hai, jo light ko convert karte hai, electrical signals may through which we are able to see jiski wajah se hum dekh paate hain now this photoreceptor <coughs> process 
कॉम्प्रोमाइजिंग ऑफ फाइव डिफरेंट टाइप ऑफ न्यूरोन्स इसके पांच अलग अलग टाइप के न्यूरोन्स आपको देखने को मिलेंगे वी विल बी डिस्कसिंग अबाउट द गलियन सेल एंड द द कॉन्स एंड देर वॉज वन मोर रोड्स एंड द कॉन्स रोड्स कॉन सेल रोड सेल देन गेंगेलियन सेल एंड द प्लेटी अदर सेल्स विच आर रिस्पॉन्सिबल फॉर वॉचिंग द थिंग्स Now what happens? Every of the cell has their own importance. हर इसमें हर एक सेल की अपनी अपनी इंपॉर्टेंस है रोड किसी चीज के लिए यूज किए जा रहे हैं कौन किसी चीज के लिए यूज करे जा रहे हैं किसी चीज के लिए यूज करे जा रहे हैं विच आई विल बी डिस्कसिंग वंस आई बी शोइंग यू एन वीडियो रिलेटेड टू विजन Vision is the perception of objects based on the light that they emit or reflect. Human eyes can only detect visible light, a narrow range of electromagnetic radiation roughly from 400 to 750 nanometers in wavelengths. The eye consists of optical components which work like a camera capturing and focusing images and neural components First of all there is a structure of eye what is happening what are the things that are present in the eye due to which reflection happens everything is being explained These images into nerve impulses and send them to the brain The main optical components are the cornea the lens and the iris The cornea and the lens refract light and focus the image on the retina. The iris acts as an aperture. It controls the amount of light that enters the eye. But now there are three components of this optical eye. The first one is cornea, the second one is lens, and the third one is iris. जो हमारी आँख होती है इसके तीन components हैं cornea, lens, and iris. इनमें cornea और lens करता क्या है? What they do? They reflect the light and pass it. एक formation करते हैं light की. जबकि जो आयरिस होता है ये जो लाइट एंटर हो रही है इनसाइड द आई उसके उसको बिहेव एन अपेरच लाइक हाउ मच अमाउंट ऑफ लाइट इज बीइंग पास्ड इनसाइड इट बेसिकली मेंटेन्स दैट बाय एडजस्टिंग द साइज ऑफ द पीपल बाय एडजस्टिंग द साइज ऑफ द पीपल पुतली लाइट सेंसिटिव टिश्यू लाइनिंग द इनर सरफेस ऑफ द आई एंड द ऑप्टिक नर्व लाइट इज अब्जॉर्ब बाय द फोटो रिसेप्टर सेल्स इन द रेटिना the optical image. now this is this is uh, this one is the retina where the light falls right once it falls there are plenty of neurons here information is then passed through several cell layers where it is converted into action now there are different types of cells through which this signal passes jisse ye signal pass ho raha hai Gangelian cells, bipolar the cells. To the visual cortex of the brain. The fovea is the central part of the retina, where the sharpest central vision is achievable. The optic disc, where the optic nerve leaves the eye, has no photoreceptor cells. It corresponds to the blind spot in the visual field. If an object falls on that spot, it would generate no visual information. However, instead of leaving a black hole in the vision. The brain fills it in with visual information from around the object. The major photoreceptor cells of the retina are rods and cones. Now, rods and cones. What does rods do, and what does cones do? Basically, what happens is the cones are basically respond to the color. Where else? Yeah. just a minute yeah it is there the roads and the cones i will be explaining it is there in the book our cells are responsible for night vision they can detect dim light but provide low resolution images and cannot differentiate colors 
Cones function in bright daylight. They detect colors and provide high resolution details. There are three kinds of cones named after the color that they absorb best, red, green, and blue. A cone the is perceived based on proportions of signals coming from these cones. Color blindness occurs when a person lacks a certain kind of cones. Now these rods and cones, they have their own functions. As explained, the cones are responsible for the colors and they work in the daytime. Where else? Uh, the roads, they work during the night time and the resolution is not that high as compared to the cones. There are three types of uh, cones which is differentiated on the basis of colors. That is uh, red, blue and uh, yeah, it's blue, red, high wavelength, low wavelength. It is basically how much dur se we are able to see. Jitani dur se hum dekh rahe hain. So that will act. Wo react karega. The ability of photoreceptor cells to detect light is due to their light receptor molecules called visual pigments. It's rhodopsin in rods and iodopsin in cones. These molecules consist of two components, a protein called opsin and a vitamin A derivative called retinal. The retinal component is identical for all visual pigments, but the opsin is different for rods and each type of cones. Different opsins absorb different wavelengths, allowing detection of different colors. In the dark, there is a so-called dark current in photoreceptor cells. This is due to the presence of CGMP, which permits a constant influx of sodium. The cells are depolarized. They release the neurotransmitter glutamate at the synapse with bipolar cells. The retinal exists in two conformations, cis and trans. In the dark, the cis form is bound to opsin, keeping it inactive. They're getting more into As the retinal now absorbs light, GMP it changes too. to transform and disassociates from the opsin, which now becomes an active enzyme. Stop, and so does glutamate secretion. The drop in glutamate tells the bipolar cells that light has been absorbed. The information is then transmitted to ganglion cells. These, egg, these neurons are interconnected from one to second and furthermore. Only cells and the, the signal is being passed. generate action potentials and send them to the brain. On average, each ganglion cell receives signals from over a hundred of rods. Hundreds of rods will give a message to few of the bipolar cell. Later on, that neuron will be connected to the ganglion cell. Gaganian cells are basically the cells which are uh, responsible for the cycle. Like for example, if I sleep uh, every every day, I sleep at seven and get up at six. No, now a cycle has been formed in my brain that I'll be getting up at six on my own. And if I won't be sleeping at seven, then I'll be feeling like a sleepy. So that is a 24 hour cycle. On the basis of the earth axis. So these ganglion cells are responsible for that purpose. The degree of convergence is the basis of the high sensitivity of rod cells. A dim light produces only a weak signal in a rod, but together, hundreds of these signals converge and become one strong signal acting on a single ganglion cell. However, as the signal comes from a large area of the retina, the image resolution is poor. The cones have a much lower degree of convergence. Now they are describing about the night schedule here in this. When they were talking about the roads, these were the roads. Then they were connecting to the bipolar cell and furthermore to the ganglion cell. Where else now they are talking about the daytime. So daytime are the cones which are responsible for the colors. They are getting connected to the uh, bipolar cells and furthermore to the ganglion cells. Here, the vision was quite low as uh, during the night time, our vision is not that. The fovea in particular has only cones and no rods, and each cone conveys signal to one ganglion cell. Because one ganglion cell receives input from a very small area of the retina, this setup produces high resolution images. But high resolution. What happens here is here we had plenty of uh, roads, right? Then we had uh, uh, to that plenty of roads. There were three, three combining with one bipolar, and three bipolar were combining with one ganglion cell. 
on the other hand when we are talking about uh, the colorful the, the roads one every every of this uh, cone is getting connected to the bipolar cell and every bipolar cell has its own ganglion cell hence the resolution will be good will be able to see clearly it comes with low sensitivity because each cone must be stimulated with a signal strong enough to generate action potentials in the ganglion cell this also explains why there is no color vision in dim light there exist other cell types that form connections between photoreceptor cells or bipolar cells. They detect. They are showing the two other types of cells, that is the horizontal cell and the macrin cell. That the horizontal cell are basically combining the uh, the both of this bipolar connection between the bipolar cell, whereas in the ganglion cell the combination is a macrin cell. It changes in light intensity within an image and provide additional information about contrast and the edges of objects. Some of the ganglion cells also absorb light directly, but not for the purpose of forming... So we discussed about the five different type of cells that are present during... Uh, that are present in the receptor. That is the vision, photoreceptor. Which is, they transmit information about light intensity to the brainstem as part of the reflex that controls the pupil size, and to the hypothalamus as input for the sleep-wake cycle. The bipolar cells are first-order neurons, and ganglion cells are second-order neurons. The axons of ganglions... Why it is first-order neuron and second-order neuron? The first-order neurons are when they are connected first. Then the second, uh, after this bipolar cell, the ganglion cells are getting connected. So they are being said as... Second order neuron. Cells form the optic nerve. The two optic nerves from the two eyes converge at the optic chiasm. Here, the medial half of nerve fibers from each eye cross Both the, the eye or nerve optics is basically attaching. Almost and synapse with third order neurons, whose axons project to the primary visual cortex. Some fibers take a different route, they terminate in the midbrain and are responsible for pupillary light reflex and accommodation reflex, among others. Note that objects in the left visual field are perceived by the right side of the brain, which also controls motor responses of the body's left side, the same side as the objects. So this was about the photoreceptors. I guess everybody understood the photoreceptors. Please write yes or no so I can move forward. Aage badu me fir. Sonia, I think uh, we will not ask yes or no now. It is a little more complicated. We will go ahead with this topic. Okay, sir. And, and uh, then we will discuss at a later stage after the reason. Okay, sir. So we discussed about uh, the we discussed about the olfactory sensory receptors which were related to smell. Then we discussed about sorry we discussed about the olfactory receptor. Then we discussed about the gustatory receptor. Furthermore, the photoreceptors which were related to the vision. Now what happens here is there are certain problems that takes place uh, during uh, this uh, decay of this sensory neuron. So, sir, shall I explain once again this vision about the photoreceptor? There is, sir. Um, we will cover it up again in revision. Okay, sir. And I think uh, once people have read it, you can go through this. We can move ahead with this and uh, let people read it once. Then we can again do in revision. Okay, sir. That that then we at the time of revision we will clear everything twice thrice so that it is very clear to what is happening okay, and sir. 
the basic aim is to understand the mechanism how i senses a light and how the image is formed what are, when the electrical impulses gets generated and how uh, the brain looks at it works so, yeah. okay so so let's move another, ahead. yeah so the problem that uh, comes uh, when there is uh, these uh, sensory neurons which are associated with the vision jo vision se associated hoti hai unke andar ko कोई प्रॉब्लम आ जाए तो फर्स्ट वन वी आर डिस्कसिंग अबाउट इज मैक्यूलर डीजेनरेशन व्हाट हैपेंस इन मैक्यूलर डीजेनरेशन वी हैव ब्लड वेसल्स अंडर द रेटिना जो हमारा रेटिना होता है व्हिच आई शोड यू इन द फिगर वी हैड अ रेटिना जहां पे अपेरचर फॉर्म होती है और हमारी इमेज की फॉर्मेशन होती है देयर वी हैव प्लेंटी ऑफ ब्लड वेसल्स नाउ व्हाट हैपेंस दोस ब्लड वेसल्स गेट लीक्ड जब उनकी लीकिंग होनी शुरू हो जाती है दैट इज नथिंग बट मैक्यूलर डीजेनरेशन ड्यू टू विच द सेंट्रल फीड ऑफ द विजन डर्क जो सेंट्रल फीड होती है विजन की वो काम नहीं करती सो दैट हैपन्स इन मैक्यूलर डीजेनरेशन द सेकेंड वन प्रॉब्लम दैट एसोसिएट ऑफ द डिसऑर्डर दैट कम्स वेन द सेंसरी न्यूरोन विच इज एसोसिएटेड विद द विजन डर्क इज glaucoma what happens here is we discussed about the ganglion cells what they do they pass the through the optical fibers and for more action potential has been created yahan pe hota kya hai the ganglion cells get affected wo nahi hote jiski wajah se because of which there is a blindness the signal has not been transferred to the brain so that is the thing that happens in this disorder the next one is diabetic retinopathy here what happens is due to high pressure uh, in the eye due to the poor uh, blood control these damages the various tiny vessels which are associated with the retina jo hamara retina hota hai usme choti choti jo vessels hoti hai ab jab hamari eye mein pressure jayega जिसकी वजह से जो टाइनी टाइनी ब्लड वेसल्स होती हैं, दे गेट अफेक्टेड सो बिकॉज ऑफ दैट दिस डायबिटिक रेटिनोपैथी हैपन्स द बैक ऑफ द आई द नेक्स्ट द नेक्स्ट सिस्टम व्हिच वी विल बी डिस्कसिंग इज द ऑडिटरी रिसेप्टर नाउ इन द एक्सटर्नल रिसेप्टर वी हैव डिस्कस्ड अबाउट स्मेल वी हैव डिस्कस्ड अबाउट द टेस्ट we discussed about the vision the next thing which we will be discussing is auditory now in this auditory receptors what they do the vibrations which as everybody know that a little explanation before i move in this auditory hota kya hai there are small small particles in the environment environment mein chote chote particles hote hain they becomes the medium wo medium bante hain for the sound sound ke liye they behave as medium due to which they becomes the medium and something goes into my head and i am able i am able to hear the things as the signal reaches to the brain and again and uh, something comes into my mind that yeah he is saying so and so the verbal communication that happens between the people so these particles which has which is there in the environment plays a vital role in this jo environment ke andar molecules hote hain inka apna bahut role hota hai they behave as medium for the transformation of the signals now what happens what happens here is a pressure wave is generated ek pressure wave generate hoti hai by vibrating the air molecules which is present in the environment into सिग्नल एंड देन इट रीचेस टू ब्रेन और वो ब्रेन तक पहुंचता है नाउ सिमिलरली जैसे वी हैड प्लेंटी ऑफ प्रॉब्लम्स दैट मे टेक्स प्लेस डू ड्यू टू द प्रॉब्लम्स द सेंसरी न्यूरोन्स व्हिच आर रिस्पॉन्सिबल फॉर द ऑडिटरी सिस्टम अगर उनके अंदर कोई दिक्कत हो जाती है देन दैट मे लीड टू द वेरियस डिसऑर्डर्स जिनकी वजह से अलग अलग डिसऑर्डर्स हो सकते हैं so here we have discussed about two of the disorders the first one is 
auditory processing disorders. What happens in this is, जो हमारा patient होता है, उसकी जो processing होती है, जो information brain तक पहुँचनी थी, that do not reach properly. और अगर वो reach नहीं हो पाती, इसका मतलब उसे सुनने में दिक्कत हो रही है. That may lead to a disability in hearing. So that is our auditory processing disorder. The second one is auditory verbal agnosia. Here what happens? Is me kya hota hai? The comprehension of speech is lost. Hearing, reading, writing ability hai. But hota kya hai? Jo humare posterior lobes hote hai, which are basically responsible for the correct input of the auditory signals. That do not work. Jiski vajje se correctly nahi pohunch paaya brain tak. Hence, the disorder happens and he is not able to understand the things. So, we discussed about the hearing also. The next receptor is thermoreceptor. Now, what is this thermoreceptor? As the various sensory nerves which are related to temperature, which are associated to temperature. जो टेम्परेचर से एसोसिएट करते हैं नाउ टेम्परेचर कैन बी कोल्ड और टेम्परेचर कैन बी हॉट सो वी हैव द टू डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ थर्मो रिसेप्टर्स वन इज फॉर कोल्ड एंड द अदर वन इज फॉर हॉट होता क्या है थर्मो रिसेप्टर्स वो रिसेप्टर्स होते हैं जो एसोसिएट करते हैं टेम्परेचर से टेम्परेचर या तो गर्म हो सकता है या ठंडा हो सकता है सो so, जो ठंडा होता है उसके लिए अपना अलग थर्मो रिसेप्टर होता है और जो गर्म होता है उसके लिए अपना थर्मोरिसेप्टर होता है फॉर थड्डा इट इज कोल्ड सेंसिटिव रिसेप्टर्स व्हिच इज एसोसिएटेड विद द कोल्ड थिंग वेयर इज फॉर गरम टेंपरेचर इट इज द वॉर्म सेंसिटिव रिसेप्टर्स व्हिच आर एसोसिएटेड विद द वॉर्मनेस द टेंपरेचर डिफरेंस हाई एंड लो सो दैट वाज थर्मोरिसेप्टर द लास्ट बट नॉट द लीस्ट External receptor I'm talking about is mechanoreceptor. Now, what is mechanoreceptor? It is basically a sensor, sensory receptor, जो pressure, जो act हो रहा है, to which it reacts. और it is associated with the pressure. ये generally कहाँ कहाँ होते हैं mechanoreceptors? हमारे joints में होते हैं. Then they are in the muscles, the skin, जो भी touch हो रहा है. प्रेशर हो रहा है या फिर जो वाइब्रेशंस हो रही हैं दैट इज बिकॉज़ ऑफ़ दिस मैकेनो रिसेप्टर्स ये इस मैकेनो रिसेप्टर्स की वजह से होती हैं एंड वी हैव अ सेंसेशन टुवर्ड्स द प्रेशर टुवर्ड्स द टच टुवर्ड्स द वाइब्रेशन सो दिस मैकेनो रिसेप्टर्स आर द रिसेप्टर्स व्हिच आर एसोसिएटेड विद द मैकेनिकल फोर्सेस दैट मैकेनिकल फोर्सेस कैन बी द प्रेशर एंड टच और एनीथिंग नाउ सिमिलरली दे डू हैव सर्टेन प्रॉब्लम्स लाइक व्हाट हैपेंस देयर आर सर्टेन डिसऑर्डर्स ड्यू टू व्हिच देयर आर सर्टेन प्रॉब्लम्स ड्यू टू व्हिच सर्टेन डिसऑर्डर्स कम द फर्स्ट वन इज न्यूरोपैथिक पेन नाउ व्हाट्स न्यूरोपैथिक पेन इट इज अवियर पेन कंडीशन जिसकी वजह से क्या होता है जो हमारी सेंसरी नर्व होती है वो डैमेज वो रखी होती है हमारी जो सेंसरी नर्व है वो डैमेज होगी तो इट इज न्यूरोपैथिक पेन द नेक्स्ट वन इज हाइपरलिजेशिया इसके अंदर बेसिकली क्या होता है देर इज अंसिटिविटी हाई सेंसिटिविटी टू पेन मतलब अगर थोड़ा सा भी लगेगा तो विल फील लाइक मोर पेन है The next one is phantom limb syndrome. This is the sensory system disorder. जब pain और movement experience होती है limbs में, जो कि असलियत में है नहीं, but you feel like it is happening. So these were the external receptors, the various types of external receptors, and उन external receptors की वजह से क्या-क्या disorders हो सकते हैं? क्या क्या प्रॉब्लम्स कैरी आउट हो सकती है दीज वर डिस्कस्ड हियर एंड द प्रोसेस हाउ डज दैट प्रोसेस द सेंसरी प्रोसेस टेक्स प्लेस सो वी कंप्लीटेड द एक्सटर्नल रिसेप्टर्स नाउ टिल एक्सटर्नल रिसेप्टर्स आई थिंक कुछ समझ में आया आज वी विल बी डिस्कसिंग इट इनटू द रिवीजन क्लास आल्सो बट एटलीस्ट समथिंग वेंट इनटू योर माइंड
please write yes or no so i can move forward please guys write something only richel and anil kumar richel i think richel you missed it now let us switch on to the internal receptor now as we discussed earlier what are the internal receptors are the receptors when we are talking about the changes that are uh, coming inside the body those are the interior receptors or the in uh, the internal receptors the first one is which we will be discussing is blood here one line is written the erotic bodies and the carotid bodies that contains the cluster of globin cells now what are the erotic bodies and what are the carotid bodies the erotic and the carotid bodies are the basically the sensory organs for monitoring the oxygen and this one is to monitor the carbon dioxide of the blood jo oxygen hai usko monitor karne ke liye एरोटिक बॉडी वेर एल्स द कैरोटिक बॉडी इज टू मेंटेन द कार्बन डाइऑक्साइड इन द ब्लड सो दीज आर द केमो रिसेप्टर्स वॉट हैपन्स एनी केमिकल चेंज जो आता है ब्लड के अंदर जैसे ऑक्सीजन की कॉन्सेंट्रेशन कम हो जाना ज्यादा हो जाना इंक्रीज इन ऑक्सीजन कॉन्सेंट्रेशन और डिक्रीज इन ऑक्सीजन कॉन्सेंट्रेशन सो वट हैपन्स दीज रिसेप्टर्स दे एक्ट ये एक्ट करते हैं सो वॉट दे आर डूइंग इज दे आर रिस्पॉन्डिंग टू द स्टेमलेस दैट इज हैपनिंग इन साइड द बॉडी जो हमारी बॉडी के अंदर हो रहा है दे आर रिस्पॉन्डिंग टू दैट द चेंज दैट इज हैपनिंग इन द ब्लड सो द फर्स्ट वन इज द ब्लड द सेकेंड वन इज नोसी रिसेप्टर ना वट दिस नोसी रिसेप्टर इज इट इज वेन अ sending us uh, what happens when uh, something is related to pain that is happening you are having a pain somewhere in the body then you are feeling up of something that yeah the sensation of pain is happening into you so that sensation of pain is being sent it to the brain and then the reaction comes out of it out of it the reaction comes up now this pain is also an internal receptor he act kar raha hai is pe because that pain is happening inside the body ye pain bhi body ke andar se hi ho raha hai due to which the receptor act jiski wajah se jo receptor ho rahe hain wo act kar rahe hain so that is the nosy receptors now what happens is these nosy receptors they are of different different types different types is there are certain thermal nosy receptors then there is mechanical nosy receptors then there is chemical nosy receptors these both three thermal mechanical and chemical jo ye receptors hote hain nosy receptors ye alag alag hote hain and they react to different different situation or different different sensation alag alag sensation ke liye ye act karte hain the first sensation is heat and cold andar se garam lagna ya thanda lagna that is thermal nosy receptor when we are talking about the med, uh, jaise pinch kar diya or there something that comes out right pressure excess pressure jo vibrations ho rahi hain that is mechanical nosy receptor they will act there the third one is the chemical nosy receptors what they do koi bhi chemical jaise uh, जब मैंने कुछ स्पाइसी खाया स्पाइसी खाने के बाद दे समथिंग इन जो पंजिंग स्मेल और जो टेस्ट होता है दैट कम्स आउट के ऐसा टेस्ट था दैट कम्स आउट ऑफ द बॉडी दैट कम्स अंडर दिस केमिकल रिसेप्टर्स हाइपर सेंसिटिविटी दिखाने के लिए सो देर दिस केमिकल मोसी रिसेप्टर्स विल वर्क द नेक्स्ट वन इज cutaneous sensation now this cutaneous sensation is when we are talking about a sensation related to skin jab hum baat karte hain jo bhi sensations skin pe jab effect hoti hai 
नाउ एज एवरीबडी नो दैट हमारी जो स्किन है दैट कंसिस्ट ऑफ टू लेयर्स दो लेयर्स की बनी हुई होती है द अपर लेयर इज द एपिडर्मिस ऊपर वाली लेयर एपिडर्मिस होती है दैट इज द आउटर प्रोटेक्टिंग लेयर एंड देन इज द डर्मिस एंड दिस डर्मिस इज बेसिकली लेयर ऑफ फर्दर फ्यू लेयर्स सो दिस इज हाउ द स्किन गेट फोम्ड नाउ दिस आउटर मोस्ट इज मेड अप ऑफ वेरियस डेड स्किन सेल्स बट बिलो दिस एपिडर्मिस बिलो दिस आउटर ऊपर वाली जो लेयर होती है जो डर्मिस होती है इसके नीचे वाली उसके अंदर देर आर फोर डिफरेंट काइंड ऑफ मैकेनो रिसेप्टर्स देर आर फोर डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ मैकेनो रिसेप्टर्स विच आर प्रेजेंट इन द डर्मिस एंड वेयर इज दैट डर्मिस इज आफ्टर दिस एपिडर्मिस द स्किन दिस इज एपिडर्मिस बिलो दिस वुड बी द dermis where the four mechanical receptors will be present they will respond they will respond wo respond karenge pressure ke liye stretching ke liye ya fir vibration ke liye now there are two types of pathways which is being discussed here those two pathways to major pathway hote hain hamare jo travel karta hai to the spinal cord sensation wala skin sensation wala those are मेडिकल लेमिनिकल पाथवे जिसके अंदर टच की इंफॉर्मेशन हमें मिलती है व्हेन वी आर टॉकिंग अबाउट द टच होता क्या है इसके अंदर जब कभी भी फाइन टच होता है तो कैरीज द इंफॉर्मेशन टू द ब्रेन एंड देन द इंफॉर्मेशन कम्स कि या इट इज समथिंग इज बीइंग टच्ड सो दैट इज द मेडियल लेमिकल पाथवे द सेकेंड पाथवे स्पिनोथेरामिक पाथवे इसके अंदर क्या होता है वेन वी आर टॉकिंग अबाउट एनी पेन जो भी पेन फॉर्म हुआ है या फिर टेम्परेचर उनकी इंफॉर्मेशन को ब्रेन तक पहुंचाना लेटर ऑन गिविंग इट बैक सो दैट इज द डिफरेंट पाथवे स्किन से लेके स्पाइनल कोड तक दे आर टू पाथवे इट रीचेस अगेन इन दिस चैप्टर लास्ट बट नॉट द लिस्ट वी आर टॉकिंग अबाउट द न्यूरल प्रोसेसिंग ऑफ विजुअल इंफॉर्मेशन विजुअल इंफॉर्मेशन के बारे में हमने पहले भी किया था दिस टाइप ऑफ न्यूरो मेन पार्ट वेर द लाइट एंटर्स एंड देन द रिफ्लेक्शन कम्स फर्दर मोर गेंगेलियन सेल्स रोड एंड कोन्स सो दीज आर द ट्रांसमिशन हाउ द ट्रांसमिशन टेक्स प्लेस फ्रॉम देयर टू द ब्रेन now what happens due to this due to this damage of the optical nerve agar hamari optical nerve mein kuch damage ho raha hai i am uh, letting you to read this because this everything is being seen in the video and discussed in the video then the damage to the optical nerve what happens if kuch damage hota hai hamari optical nerve pe then there are few things that happens the first one they are talking about is direct or indirect physical damage yadi ho jaye then it will be difficult to see the second one is acute or sub acute physiological lesions matlab infection ho jaye ya cancer aankh mein then the next one is the chronic neuronal degeneration which we discussed the two types of uh, uh, glaucoma and there was one जिसमें रेटिना पास ही नहीं हो पाता तो सेंट्रल जो हमारा इफेक्ट हुआ था विच वी डिस्कस्ड इन दिन दिसेप्टर सो दिस एंड अप विद चैप्टर देंसरी सेंसरी फिजियोलॉजी ऑफ द बॉडी वेयर वी डिस्कस्ड अबाउट द वेरियस रिसेप्टर्स दट वर्क एंड हाउ दे वर्क what's the structure of the organs the two different types of receptors external receptor internal receptor external receptor ke bare mein we discussed about the various different types of external receptor for the internal receptor ke bare mein bhi humne padha the various types of internal receptors which are which are present in our body so we discussed about all these things any one of you have any query regarding this can ask please any one of you have any kind of query can ask <coughs> please 
Sonia, I think uh, you have completed the lesson and uh, yes, we will yes. be uh, re repeating this lesson again. You have done well, you have explained everything. Yes, but yes. <clears throat> today, I want to tell something about these sensory organs in general. Yes, sir. I want everyone to uh, understand what are these sensory organs, what are these receptors, what happens to the brain, what happens. I'm not talking about the function, how it is taking place, but I would just, uh, I, I want everyone to understand that how the processing of the signal suppose a smell how do you get a smell what are the uh, what happens such as molecules from the environment they reach your nose then there is a mucus formation and then there are uh, neurons which pick up these signals there are 400 neurons and they are capable of sensing 10,000 different types of smells. Now, every uh, sensation which comes to the body from external environment, there are two types of sensations. One is external environment sensation, and we have got five sensory organs in the body. So, there are external uh, signals coming and there are internal within the body there are signals getting generated and every signal which is coming whether it is external or internal gets converted into an electrical impulse brain only understands the electrical signal brain doesn't understand your vibration brain doesn't understand sense sense mm -hmm. Touch, feel, brain doesn't understand. Taste, brain doesn't understand. It will only understand an electrical impulse which will give the indication. You will feel the taste, but brain, ha brain has to qualify that. This impulse, <clears throat> electrical signal which gen gets generated goes to the brain in that particular section. Sound is dealt where the smell is dealt where uh, uh, vision is dead and all these electrical impulses that go and then you perceive a signal, a return signal comes back and this is how you feel. Suppose you have been touched here by anybody. Now this touch sensation, it is based on two things. <clears throat> One is change in temperature and second is pressure. So there are uh, different mechanisms which are happening. So we were talking about the nose. Now the signal from these <clears throat> gets processed and a electrical pulse gets generated, goes to the brain and then it tells you that this is the type of smell which has come. I'll tell you about uh, <clears throat> how nature works. Uh, has anybody gone to leather factories, leather tiny, anywhere in the world? No. Kanpur, one of the industrial, biggest industrial uh, city of leather. And there are a lot of leather factories in Kanpur. And if you go inside any leather factory, you will not be able to stand without closing your nose. It is so difficult, but you'll find there are uh, laborers who are working in that factory without putting on any cloth and not holding their nose. So what happens? Nature takes care of this. They have not lost the smell sensation. When they come out, they can smell perfumes, they can smell rose, they can smell everything which is outside, but they do not need a <clears throat> cloth to cover their nose or hand to uh, close their nose inside the factory where we can't stand even for one minute. So the brain, when it gets too high, mother, uh, 
high intensity of that particular uh, smell it desynthesizes the synthesize sorry it does the desynthesis scent kya hai sensation sensation it de ha uska sensation ko kam kar deta hai us part ke theek hai so brain des sense sense nahi karta sir ha it doesn't sense that particular smell rest all smell is functional similarly when you see an eye what we are talking about the rod cell there are more rod cells because cones then cone cells because the rod cells they are used for basically night vision night you have less of light so you need more collectors these are all basic things so more collectors we collect small small lights and will try and give you a vision at night similarly if you have uh, for color now at night color identification is very difficult but during day you have got cones which each cone is connected to a neuron and then the signal gets generated and your image is formed retina is what it's basically the one uh, ye jo aapka screen hota hai in the movie screen it is like that it is a screen where the light gets focused whatever you are seeing from the uh, lens it goes on to that point it generates an impulse this impulse is sent to the brain and the brain tells you ki this is the image and the image which is formed on the retina is inverse image so uh, these are all very simple things the only thing is the word when you talk in science the words are a little difficult to receptors affectors effectors yeah similarly uh, we talk of tongue basically whatever there are uh, different parts of the tongue which sense different types of taste taste and all these taste was the signal again gets generated electrical impulse goes to the brain and you get the taste so this is not very difficult the only thing is we need to perceive all this and then again the problems in these areas if you are not able to smell certainly some infection has taken place some of your neurons may have become dead or some viral attack has taken place and desensitized your uh, neurons so these are all basic things i your uh, this thing focusing of the lens is not taking place those uh, muscles which adjust your lens position for focusing which focus it is similar to the old camera which you have might have seen where the person used to move the lens up and down to take a proper photograph now everything has become auto so <laughs> it is not and your eye has been doing it for thousands of years lakhs of years it has been focusing properly those muscles were focusing your lens and they are still focusing it and when they don't focus you see a black image so then we'll give, we give you some supplement by which your muscle becomes active we would not and have to do this yes you don't have to do this your muscle becomes active doesn't get tired and you are able to see if your retina that screen has become thin diabetic uh, retinopathy if that skin is screen the uh, is has become thin it's not getting a proper blood supply the cells have decayed it will not form a proper image so we need to strengthen that retina we have to make it thick and so that your proper image is formed and appropriate signal is generated electrical impulse is generated and your brain reads the image properly so there is nothing much difficult about it when it comes to practicality you will find this is all very simple okay
but still sonia will again cover it up at least two times again all sensory organs everything and will re revise this book twice with you so twice. <laughs> each one of you is very clear but so in one day she, she would have finished this book in one day yes so but i have slowed her down to make everybody understand and then she will do once we will move out of this book only once everybody is very clear about the book and some of the terms are coming in your tongue also you also start speaking those terms now today <clears throat> we have mr nagpal with us who is ready with his story and i would request him to switch on his microphone and talk to our uh, class sir nagpal yes. sir shuru yes, kare yes. mic is yours sir okay i should come on to the bigger screen yes good evening everybody good evening nafa sir good evening nafa ji good evening nafa ji good evening sir i am telling you a small story that why we people are here just let me know why everybody is here मैं तो पढ़ाने के लिए अल्टीमेटली पढ़ने के बाद क्या करोगे पढ़ने के बाद क्या करोगे प्रैक्टिस करोगे प्रैक्टिस से क्या होगा करने से पर्पस क्या है एम क्या है कैन एनी बडी टू हेल्प पीपल टू टू हेल्प पीपल लोगों को मदद करना हम जब अपने आप को जानेंगे तो हम दूसरों को भी बता पाएंगे हम हैं क्या अल्टीमेटली क्या होगा जानने के लिए अल्टीमेटली क्या होगा यू विल गेट द कैश Got my point? Yes, sir. Right. Everybody is here for the purpose of earning the cash. Is it right or wrong? Tell me. Fifty, 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 fifty. Fifty, fifty. Okay. Anyway, fifty, fifty. Now you see. Uh, everybody wants the cash. Ultimate, ultimate aim is to get the cash. तो कैश पाने के लिए टू गेट द कैश टू गेट द कैश कैश इज सी ए एस एच कैश तो कैश पाने के लिए आपको पहले तो एश छोड़ना होगा ए एस एच छोड़ देना होगा एश जब तक नहीं छोड़ेंगे वर्क हार्ड नहीं करेंगे यू कैन नॉट गेट द कैश सेकेंडली सेकेंडली द के इन द कैश You take it as cash is is K A S H. It is K A S H. So what stand for the K? You can get the cash. You cannot get the cash without the knowledge. K stands for the knowledge which you are getting right now, and it is should be taken very seriously because you are going to treat the human body. so knowledge is the first thing to get the cash am i right yes so then yes. then comes a what is your attitude your attitude should be honest to the patient patient ko sahi raay denge sahi diagnosis denge and sahi medicine denge This should be your attitude. उसके साथ कोई दगाबाजी नहीं होनी चाहिए तभी आपका फेम हो जाएगा यू विल गेट द फेम सो एटीट्यूड यू अंडरस्टैंड नो 
whatever you have learned you must be sincere to your duties to earn the cash as a stand for the sincerity you must be sincere to your work wherever the timing is fixed you must be punctual for that since sincerity is the most important thing in the life got it yes or no no yes, is answering yes, yes sir no. okay yes sir no when you are sincere and your attitude is good then make it all this thing in your habit if your habit is if you have adopted all this this thing in your habit means you are punctual to your duties you are sincere to your duties then the you make it is a habit every time you have to go in your clinic at a fixed time close at a fixed time so it will be a habit then only you can earn the good amount of cash it is matter is clear yes yes i think sir. the matter is clear it is yes, very clear sir. Yes. I did, I did in my whole life, and adopted the same thing, and taken the knowledge wherever from it, taken knowledge for everything, every medicine, every body. Thank you very much. I think you got something energized by my this is small lecture. I mean, most of the and it, the same same lecture I heard. Forty years back on the television, by an American uh, businessman. Today, 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 to everybody. Thank you today very much. Are, today we are hearing from a young entrepreneur who is leading space organics in India, Mr. Nagpal. Yes, yes, sir. I know he is my guide, coach, everything. and every you, day there is not a single day when i am not talking to him i must tell the class every day we talk for at least 20 to 30 minutes on various issues right sir and he has been guiding me for last 6 to 7 years on human body and on supplements on other issues and i have been taking his guidance even for marketing for every issue because he has gone through he has so much of vast experience being an engineer he is now a medical this thing tycoon <laughs> thank you very much sir and, thank you and he comes back uh, he comes back running for the class because although he attends an evening session with senior citizens in the park every day but he skips from that and comes for the class at by 7:30 he joins the class but today yes. what i see there are lot of people who are missing from the class yes what is the you... attendance pritam ji yes yes 14 so only 14 because total. everybody will be like tomorrow is eid we have chutti then we have sunday everybody will be going somewhere or the other maybe maybe Sonia, don't worry. We are going to catch them and teach them. We are not going to leave them like this. <laughs> See, we have taken a decision, and as Mr. Nagpal said, that knowledge is very important. Yes, I also fully agree with it. And this imparting of knowledge, we are going to do it. Yes, sir. Okay. So, so but okay. Now. Sir, thank you very much. Thank you, Mr. Nagpal, for joining and uh, educating the video class. Will be, video will be passed to all other those who are absent. Yes, yes, sir. It goes to everybody. It goes in right. the net. Right. It goes in the net. Right. Thank you very much. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank so, you. Uh, thank so you, Mr. Nagpal.
today we are going to close the session uh, uh, here and don't worry uh, we will be re-revising everything in the coming week and we will make you understand this book at least if not 100% up to around 60% to each one of you so all those who are lagging behind kindly uh, put in effort and let's understand minimum 60% so that <clears throat> when we start applying it, we know 100% of this part. That is human physiology. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you very much. We close the class here. Yep. And good night to everyone. Good night, everyone. Thank, Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you so much. Sir.